Hello everyone, myself Dr. Umrita Chakravarti, PhD in Clinical Psychology and practicing as a consultant psychologist. Now I'll be discussing about the management of attention problems part 2. Here I'll be focusing on uh, some specific strategies. Uh, first of all, I would like to mention like three basic things like uh, for during preparing of subject matter uh, in order to recall or remember uh, them in uh, later uh, occasions like we need to focus on practice, feedback and demonstration. Uh, we need to learn certain strategies according to the current problem and then we need to generalize those uh, strategies, learn strategies in other contexts or for other problems. Uh, so we need to apply strategies in new and more difficult situations. At the same time, we need to focus on the time pressure management. Uh, we are going to focus on the rehearsal skills. We need to manage uh, our emotional reactions that are mostly negative in nature. So some specific strategies are as follows. For task completion strategies uh, will be like this. Like we need to focus on verbal mediations. We need to focus on visualizations. Like we need to form certain mental imagery. Uh, for the learned materials, we need to focus on self use that is verbal prompts to self. Uh, we need to mark places, we need to count on fingers, uh, we need to, uh, yeah, sometimes we need to close our eyes. Uh, and uh, yeah we need to move our attention to other pleasant things uh, next we need to practice certain breathing exercises uh, we need to uh, uh, create a more in-depth focus and uh, next we need to give certain pacing uh, we need to take certain breaks okay uh, we need to provide certain body alerts during uh, kind of yeah uh, completing our task uh, next uh, uh, when we'll be looking at the screen, uh, the perception uh, would be like with kind of focused gaze. Uh, we need to double check our performance. We need to uh, check off the completed items. We need to set a timer or auditory cues uh, for switching tasks. Next strategies for increasing motivation or decreasing anxiety. These are uh, we need to walk toward a particular goal. Uh, that is one goal for a particular time okay and we need to set certain task objectives in our mind we need to continue self talks okay positive verbal self reinforcing talks uh, we need to reward ourselves uh, we need to give ourselves a predetermined treat at the end of the uh, completion of the task uh, we need to relax uh, we need to practice certain relaxation steps relaxation skills uh, we need to review our previous performances time to time and we need to predict our um, uh, easy or hard task components so we need to have a kind of a uh, idea about the task nature and it's uh, uh, like accordingly uh, what we we are going to perform on this task okay next strategy is for increasing task understanding very important here uh, we need to focus on the instructions part like we need to repeat the instructions again and again we need to write the reminders we need to ask for a model um, like uh, who can serve as the yeah, base uh, uh, way to deal a particular problem uh, so we are asking for a model next we need to focus on kind of whole part learning according to the difficulty level of the task we need to focus on spaced or unspaced learning strategies we need to focus on distributed learning strategies we need to emphasize on the feedback discussions parts we need to start with the simple task at hand we need to be flexible in our personality and we need to focus on more individualized plan that is very important uh, whether it is in classroom situations or suppose for adults, for kids, but we need to focus on the individualized plans. Yeah, these are the brief strategies. Thank you.